Do you dream of embarking on a journey to another world? Are you willing to spend over seven months crossing over 300 million miles of space? Could you see yourself starting the first human civilization on another world? Well, if so, then the Mars One Astronaut Corps is waiting to hear from you. Candidates must be over 18. Be free from any disease, dependency on drugs, alcohol, tobacco, abnormal range of motion and functionality in all joints, corrected or uncorrected visual acuity of 100% Be free from the urge to kill their fellow colonists, have blood pressure not exceeding 140-90, be a minus than 30, and a standing height between 157 and 190 centimeters. Advertising not endorsed by Mars One. So, in all seriousness though, over 200,000 people answered the call to join the Mars One mission by September 2013. Whilst the application process is now closed, if you missed it, don't worry there'll be a new opportunity to apply to join the Mars One mission, probably around the beginning of 2015, and there'll be a new selection process at least once every two years after that. So what exactly is Mars One looking for in its astronaut candidates? First up, you don't need to be a doctor, a pilot, or have a PhD in theoretical physics. No formal qualifications are required. But that being said, you do need to be able to learn new skills remarkably fast. So instead, Mars One have identified five key characteristics that all successful astronauts must possess. Resiliency, adaptability, curiosity, the ability to trust others, and creativity slash resourcefulness. In addition, they also have to possess emotional and psychological stability, and they need to be able to function as part of a cohesive whole within a group environment. And the group aspect can't be overstressed enough, because it's not individuals that are selected to go into the training programme, it is groups of four people. And that group that you are training with from day one could be the same group and will be the same group that you eventually go to Mars with someday, unless one of them drops out. In which case, you have to go back to square one, select a new person to join your team and begin the training program right again from scratch. Because you need to get the full eight years of training with the group that you are eventually going to go with. For a more comprehensive list of the qualities that Mars One is looking for, I put a link below. If you think you have what it takes and are still serious about applying, then great. Here's how the selection process proceeds. So it moves forward in a number of rounds, which from start to finish will take approximately two years, though it will probably speed up in future as the process is streamlined. First up is round one, where you have to submit an extensive online application consisting of a series of profiling questions, general information, educational background, uh, a motivational letter, in addition, you also have to submit a one minute video explaining why you want to go to Mars. For an example, I've put a link to my video below. And based on the information that you've submitted, a Mars One committee will then decide who proceeds to the second round. In December 2013, of the 200,000 people who applied for the first round, 1,058 were selected to proceed to round two. And if you aren't selected, then don't give up. Mars One, just as is the case with NASA and the other space agencies, will allow you to apply again. And indeed, in the case of NASA, often successful astronauts have already applied multiple times before they eventually get their chance to go into space. So don't give up and try again. Those cleared for round two will receive a list of medical tests that they will need to have conducted. And they'll also have to obtain a signed declaration of good health from their local physician. And if you pass the medical, then you'll receive an interview with a regional selection committee. This is the stage that we are currently at as of April 2014, where I and the other candidates are waiting to hear back about where and when our interviews will take place. And it's also important to stress that the application process is in the public eyes. So as of such, your interview could be aired on TV and the internet. And it's also quite likely that you could experience media interest. And after the interviews are finished, the Mars One Selection Committee will decide who of the round two candidates will proceed to the third round. Round three is where the testing gets serious, the regional selection round, which could be aired on TV and the internet all around the world. So in each region, Western Europe in my case, between 20 and 40 applicants will participate in a series of extremely testing challenges to demonstrate their suitability for the mission. And audience involvement will be key at this stage in assisting the Mars One Selection Committee in deciding one person per region to continue to the fourth and final round. But at their discretion, they will exercise the right to allow additional people from each region to continue 
if they demonstrate through the challenges that they are particularly suited for the mission. Finally, round four is the international round, where the remaining candidates will be pitted against each other to decide who will get to the 24 spots in the Mars One Astronaut Corps training program. It may sound a little bit like the Hunger Games to start with, but that couldn't be further than the, from the truth, as round four is all about group work and cooperation. So the remaining candidates will be sorted into international groups of four people who will be expected to demonstrate their suitability for the mission by living under harsh living conditions and working together under difficult circumstances. And part of this will almost certainly involve spending three months in a replica of the Mars outpost right here on Earth. And they could also be subject to further testing, such as isolation chambers, to prove their mental resolve. But altogether, by summer of 2015, six groups of four people will become full-time employees of the Mars One Astronaut Corps, where they will receive at least eight years of further training for the mission ahead. I'll be updating this channel with the latest news and updates on the selection process, so be sure to subscribe to follow the progress in this, the most exciting journey of our time.